A fugitive wearing this Father of the Year t-shirt was captured in Clay County. Deputies say Clarence Sheese left Ohio where he sexually assaulted a child and came to Fleming Island. The 50-year-old man is now locked up in the Clay County Jail. News 4 Jacks reporter Janice Harris has been learning more about him and the disturbing crime that he's accused of committing, and she's joining us live from the Clay County Sheriff's Office. Janice. Very disturbing allegations. The Clay County Sheriff's Office told us about this this morning. When it comes to Clarence Sheaf, we know that he traveled over a thousand miles from Ohio to Florida, running away from the state where he's accused of these crimes. But it was only a matter of time before the law caught up with him. Clay County Sheriff's and U.S. Marshals caught and arrested 50-year-old Clarence Sheets in a car outside his Fleming Island rental home Monday. He was wearing this shirt that reads, Father of the Year, but according to investigators, he's anything but that. According to an Ohio warrant, Sheets is wanted for two counts of rape and one count of gross sexual misconduct. A neighbor told me off camera she is upset and disturbed that this man was one of her neighbors, a man who people rarely saw outside. Never really got a real good shot of his face. He was always, you know, slouched in the car with kind of focused and dead on kind of look. Before being caught, Sheese had been living in this quiet Fleming Island neighborhood with a possible girlfriend, a community one woman says is filled with children. If she's guilty of sexual assault in Ohio, she worries he may have more victims in her neighborhood. And based upon the charges that obviously concerns you. Just the fact that they're in this neighborhood, it's so tight knit, but it's also in kind of a remote area to the back of the neighborhood where not a lot of traffic comes or goes. So anything could happen when they get off the bus. Tonight, many families in this community will have to have a serious discussion about Sheets and whether or not he was near their children. And according to documents that were given to us by the Clay County Sheriff's Office, according to that warrant back in Ohio, he will be extradited back with no bond. Live in Clay County, Janice Harris, Channel 4, the local station.